I have to take us out of practice. All right, here we go. Okay. Welcome everyone. This is a recording of the Jones Library Building Committee subcommittee known as the Outreach Subcommittee. And at this time, I would like to let everyone know that this meeting is again being recorded and will be posted to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel shortly. I'm turning things over to the chair, Alex Lefebvre. Great. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for attending. Um, uh, so we don't have a quorum of the outreach subcommittee, so I don't know if we can just call this a public forum, which was the intent. I'm not sure. Is that okay? So I don't need to call a meeting to order. We're just going to say it's a public meeting or a public forum on this topic. As long as there aren't any votes taken, I think we're okay with that. There's no deliberation. Yeah, no, we're not deliberating. So great. Um, so I don't know whether everyone at least wants to say hi and that you're here and who you are, because this is a recording in case somebody who doesn't watch our meetings regularly doesn't know who they are. So I'm Alex Lefebvre. Uh, I am a Jones Library trustee, and I am the chair of the Jones Library Building Committee, which is a town committee uh, out, so outreach subcommittee. Um, and today's meeting is the first of two public forums uh, where we're inviting the public to give us feedback regarding the bathrooms. And I'll get into how that can happen um, in a minute. But in the meantime, um, Sharon, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Sharon Sherry, and I'm the director of the Jones Library. I'm on, uh, I'm on the building committee. Thank you, Alex. Mm -hmm. And Austin. Um, I'm Austin Sarah. I'm a member of the building committee. Great. And I see that Anika is joining. So we are now actually a quorum. So uh, I guess now I'll, should I call them an official meeting to order, Angela? Okay. So uh, seeing a quorum, I'm going to call uh, the uh, buildings and facilities, or the uh, wrong committee, the uh, Jones Library Building Committee uh, Outreach subcommittee, sorry, it's after vacation to order it. Not know it. <laughs> so um, uh, seeing a quorum, uh, if you could uh, let me know that you're present, that would be great. Alex Lefebvre, I'm present. Austin. Present. Anika. Good morning, present. Good morning, great. Um, and then we also have with us uh, Craig, if you wanna introduce yourself. Sure, thank you, Alex. Uh, I am Craig DiCarlo. I work for Collier's Project Leaders. We are the owner's project manager on this uh, project. Great. Okay. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to ask, I think Sharon, you have the presentation. If you want to go ahead and load that up. Great. Um, so go ahead and put it in presentation mode if you could. Uh, it's a PDF, so I can't. Gotcha. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> we'll screen, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, so if you want to advance to the next slide, then. Um, so uh, just a quick overview. Um, the Jones Library Building Committee, which is a town committee, um, has approved putting all user restrooms throughout the renovated and expanded library. Um, some of the thinking behind that is all user restrooms uh, benefit the widest range of people, including parents with children of different gender, people with disabilities who may require uh, an accompaniment of an attendant of a different gender, as well as gender diverse people. Um, Multi-stall all user restrooms have been found to maximize space as well as minimizing bathroom lines for everybody, yay. Um, and then there is a link uh, in this presentation um, to a site called Stalled. It's actually a site created by a group of architects who are working in the space to um, advance design and understanding and information around um, all user restrooms. And so the Stalled is actually a link which you'll be able to find in several places. Um, the next slide. Um, and I should have, sorry, I should have prefaced, we do have um, several attendees. So if at any point um, somebody has a question uh, that they wanna ask, feel free to raise your hand and then I'll ask Angela to let me know, stop my talking and, and you're welcome to come on in and ask your question. 
Um, so this is the preliminary design that the architects Feingold Alexander presented to the building committee. Um, uh, so all bathrooms in the renovated expanded library will be, as I said, all user restrooms. The uh, first floor, if you walk in on Amity, the second floor, third floor will all be uh, single occupant restrooms. So the only multi-stall restroom that we'll have will be at the garden level, which is basically the sort of the community space of the library. Um, because uh, at present in the schematic design, that's where you have the large meeting room, um, the Burnett Art Gallery, the Civil War Tablets Room, um, the Special Collections Exhibit, so all of those. So this will be the, the restroom for that garden level entrance. Um, the design as it's been presented to us uh, has multi stalls, those red uh, dotted lines are not walls, but I guess the idea is should we change our mind, you could add walls. Um, so this is the initial uh, design. We haven't really gotten beyond just seeing this particular uh, suggested design at this point. Um, next slide. Um, what the architects have asked us to look at is style of stalls. So these are three options. So these pictures are not uh, pictures of, you know, are we choosing red doors, gray doors, or brown doors? Are we choosing white floors, black floors, or brown floors? They're simply looking at the style of stall. So there are three styles, standard, semi-private, and maximum privacy. And so the standard privacy is what probably most people are used to seeing. Um, the divider and the stall doors uh, stop 12 inches uh, above the floor. They're the least expensive, um, but they're also the least private. Um, so from a library concern, we've heard concerns from the staff. Um, we, we do know that we have people who engage in drug usage um, and often the library as a free and open space um, can be a place where people who have addiction issues may wind up um, using drugs. And so uh, part of what the library is having to, to um, balance is um, making sure that all patrons are safe and if someone is using drugs and potentially would overdose, uh, you know, what's the way to make sure that those patrons with addiction issues are safe. So um, don't know exactly what that looks like, but it is something that we have to consider when we're thinking about bathroom spaces. Um, the semi-private um, has a uh, more privacy, obviously, than the standard. The stall doors and uh, dividers can be anywhere between four to eight inches um, from the floor versus the 12. They're, uh, as you would expect, a little bit more expensive, but they have some uh, balance in terms of privacy and security concerns. The maximum privacy, um, which uh, is often what you see in all user restrooms, certainly what you see throughout Europe and most countries outside of the United States, um, it's where you have divider and stall doors that extend fully from the floor to the ceiling. So uh, the thing in the United States is we have different codes than other countries. And so when we use a maximum privacy, it requires a floor drain, light fixtures, and sprinkler in each stall, which obviously makes for a more expensive bathroom to create. Um, so it's the most private, most expensive, but also, as I stated earlier, some uh, library staff has expressed concerns potentially um, about using uh, doors that are fully, fully closed, fully private. Next slide. Um, so there are a couple of pictures um, just to give people senses of, so these are some other bathrooms uh, from three different public institutions around the country and their design uh, that they used uh, for an all user multi-stall restroom not suggesting these are the designs we have or should have, but just to give people a sense um, because I think many people have not ever used uh, an all user multi-stall restroom that's actually designed. I think what most people have had access to are standard or, or what used to be typical gendered bathrooms where the signs have been removed and then everybody can, can use them, which is different than when you're designing it from scratch. So this particular design is uh, used at a synagogue. Next slide. Um, this is uh, a design at a university where they're using frosted glass and, you know, fun little shapes. Um, next slide. 
And then this is a design at an elementary school, not our elementary school, but at an elementary school, um, which just takes another avenue where you're leaving sort of the bathroom open for visibility, but closed doors for privacy. Um, next slide. So the timeline for the decisions on the bathroom, we're having today's public forum, um, and then we'll have another one next Tuesday in the evening at 6 p.m. Um, there is a survey uh, which is available and can be filled out. It's like a two second survey, it's very quick. Um, we opened it up on December 22nd. We're gonna let it run until January 15th. Um, we've already started getting responses in on the survey. Um, and then I'll talk about that in a minute. And the JLBC, which is the Jones Library Building Committee um, slash design meeting discussions. And Craig, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we have the 19th and the 26th slated as possible days where we might discuss the bathroom. Like these are all still possible dates. Um, and that's a 4.30 meeting. And then uh, there's another meeting February 2nd. Uh, or ninth where uh, a vote could possibly be made. So those are all public meetings that may have bathroom discussions. The, the meetings are kind of fluid depending on what we get from the architects and, and what's discussed. Um, next slide. Uh, so in terms of sharing your opinions, so these are the questions basically in the survey asking if people have used a multi-stall all user restroom, would they like or not like if they'd seen one? We are asking people to vote on the, the style of doors, so standard, semi-private, maximum privacy. Um, and then also asking to share any thoughts about any features or design elements that you'd like to see um, in the bathroom. And then the tell us a little bit about yourself is just asking some questions, you know, age group, uh, et cetera. So we have a sense of who's, who's responding to make sure we're getting the widest net possible of, of public response in that survey. Next slide. So uh, this is a link to the uh, survey, which if you, I don't, I mean, it's, yeah, you can click on it. So it's basically just, as you'll see, there's another link to stalled. And then uh, these are the questions uh, that you can go through. So most of the, you know, yeah, there's the link to stalled. So there's a video here. There's a lot of different uh, designs. So if people are interested and want to learn a little bit more about, um, potential designs, they can click on that. And so um, we created a Padlet just like we did for the uh, first round of open uh, of public comments. Um, and so this is, if you visited our past Padlet is very similar. So there's a link to the stalled video. There's a link to the survey. So you can actually access the survey, which is at the top right, if you scroll up, Sharon. So there's a link to the survey there. You could go from there as well um, and scroll down. Um, so this is, uh, so here's a link to the presentation we're doing now and people can vote here as well if they want. So there's sort of a star rating system. So if you scroll down a little, yeah, exactly. You can do that. Um, this also allows people to add their own pictures. So if you scroll down, um, these are the same designs. Um, but you'll see, yeah, so if you, so right, so this bottom left, somebody added this, uh, this wasn't created by us, so somebody clicked on the little plus mark um, in the middle of the screen, um, and then they uploaded a video by uh, probably clicking on the three dots, which allows them to upload things, and then they wrote that they liked that particular design for privacy, visibility, and access, so this is just one more way for people to share, right, and then you can upload a photo. Um, so just one more way pe for people to share comments. You'll see there's already some comments in here. Um, I think a couple people have already uh, written on, right, yes, yeah, so if it's not, right. So somebody was commenting on the design, but it wasn't the design, it's just the stall, but that's okay, that happens. Um, yeah, so that's one other way that people can provide feedback. Um, um, so same things we've been doing before, which is info at Jones Library, you click on that, it's an email, people can send in comments via email if they'd like. Um, and then there's the submit the comment form. Just a reminder to folks, if you use the submit comment form, it's anonymous. So if you ask me a question or ask us a question, we can't respond to you um, because it doesn't track your email. So if you want us to give you a response, then using the uh, other email is probably the better way to go. Um, 
We've also um, uploaded the Padlet and the survey on all the public computers at the Jones Library. So anyone who's using the public computers has access to that um, and can quickly do that. And um, I think, sir, go ahead and next slide. Next slide, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So don't know if anyone has any questions, thoughts, comments. And I see also that Will Fernandez has joined us. Oh, uh, Anika. Oh, I just wanted to, you know, say thank you for putting this together. Uh, Happy New Year first, but um, thank you for putting this together. I love how, you know, again, it allows for um, the public to add their comments and, um, you know, it allows for engagement and um, yeah, to just share opinions. So thank you. Yeah, thanks. It was, it was nice because we already had the platform set up. So it was uh, nice to. Yeah. Yeah. I love how you continued with it. Though. Right. <laughs> thanks. Okay. Um, don't know if anyone in the public wants to uh, come into the room and ask questions or make comments or share thoughts. We're welcome to come on in. I see we have four people in the audience. <laughs> okay. Um, so unless anyone else has any questions or thoughts, uh, that's that's it. Just that's how people can uh, can access things, and we'll continue to seek public comment, get it over to the building committee and the design committee, and we'll go from there. Great, thank you all for attending. Thank you in the audience, those of you who joined us, and um, appreciate everyone's time. Thank you so much. All right, bye. Meetings adjourned. Thanks. Thank you all. <laughs>